was good you can already tell that my allergy medicine is not working but i'm gonna go make some breakfast and um i'm gonna attempt to make a sausage egg and cheese sandwich but i only have bison 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 i only have bison so it's not gonna really be sausage i'm gonna see if i can make this before shorty wakes up for her next feeding so it's 12 and it's now it's in 54 so a blood out a blood out blood out blood out i don't really got cheese so we're just gonna use this mexican blend shredded cheese is that good enough for you shorty i didn't ask but i did <laughs> she's literally over there just chilling and listening to her crazy mother make all these noises alone <laughs> in alone in the hall we can't see her okay what are you doing in here? Huh? This may look nasty, but it's just an egg with cheese on the top. And my dumb behind is always so used to grinding meat, grinding meat, grinding meat, that I did it like that. So now I have to... Kinda good. <laughs> she didn't wake up. What up, y'all? I'm back. I'm officially a mom now. A mom now. Mom now. Mom now. With that being said, that means that there's a whole bunch of stuff that had changed, right? Like there's new anxieties and stuff. There's new stuff I'm trying to do, and like my mind is scattered as a mug. I said my mind is scattered as a mug. I just be finding myself just like, just walking and walking and walking, walkies, walkies, not really doing anything because my mind is not scattered. It's like, I have to do this and I have to do that. I have to make a doctor's appointment for myself. I have to make a doctor's appointment for my daughter. I have to call my Starbucks thingy to get maternity leave. I have to get my prescription before I go get my doctor because if not, she's going to be like, how come you weren't taking the blood pressure thing? And then my blood pressure on top of that, I have to buy a blood pressure thingy and make sure I'm budgeting correctly because if not, then, and I don't do the maternity leave on time, then, and then I have appointments to get my behind the wheel so I can get my license finally. There's just all these important things I have to do and I'm just like, where do I start? I don't know. So I'm just going to pace back and forward. And back and forward. <coughs> <coughs> Bruh, let me just explain something about this whole experience I had at the hospital. That was the worst experience I've ever had. I already don't like hospitals. And they're trying to tell me that I have high blood pressure. Cool. You're a doctor. You go and do the thing. You see that it's 150 over... 110 or something like that and i have high blood pressure all right uh but when you test me for high blood pressure when i take a piss test for high blood pressure the joint come back regular so what does that tell you oh that tells you that i have white coat syndrome which means i get nervous around freaking doctors just because they're doctors and they i don't know i don't know bro i don't like being in hospitals so that happens right and they tell me that I can't see midwives no more because midwives can't do what doctors can do and you have high blood pressure you're at risk you're at risk for being at risk for preeclampsia I never got diagnosed with preeclampsia the whole time right so when it comes time to leave they say I can't leave the hospital they don't want to send me home with this high blood pressure why because of my preeclampsia, but y'all never told me, y'all never diagnosed me with preeclampsia. And, but anyway, that's, that's what I'm dealing with. It might not seem like that much stress. It might not seem that this is that big of a deal, you know, that you can't figure out what to do. You have to make all these appointments. 
it does though because for me it it's it's not organized and the house is still we're, we're still trying to get the house together i don't know i just feel like telling you but what this video is mainly about is how to get over it how to actually be able to manage with new stresses and anxieties obviously when the house is a mess you ain't gonna really get nothing done because i mean for me i can't be trying to be productive in a messy house if the kitchen isn't done but the reason why nothing is done guys do you want to know why oh. you want to know why nothing nothing is done take a look at my girlfriend do you remember that episode of That's a Raven when she ate the mushrooms? That's what that is. And the swelling has came all the way up to my calf. I'm going out of my, I'm like risking my feet being really swollen the rest of the day by making this video right now. I just haven't made a video in a long time. I actually have like a lot of videos on my laptop, but those are so old now that I just can't do, I just can't touch those. So let me, let me show you what I've been dealing with. Nastasia, my daughter, has been getting a lot of things over the past couple weeks. Over the past couple, over the past nine months. Okay, our closet isn't really set up to where you could just like my old closet. There's like really nowhere for me to put anything. So just look. Oh, that's nice. That looks nice up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, huh? Oh what oh there's literally i don't have a dresser there's literally nowhere for me to put anything so folded stuff falls and then all all this stuff there's just nowhere to put anything so what i started doing was putting her stuff out there and i'm gonna find like a container or something and put her put some stuff in there just to get it some kind of clean because this is disgusting look but oh, she's so cute. Say hi. Okay, you got her. So I like made a list. So like I said, I said I made a list of stuff I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna read them off to you, and then I'm gonna do it. You smell me? This is traumatizing. This is what they did at the hospital all the time because they thought that my daughter wasn't supposed to cry. Oh, they put they had their little gloves on, and they put their finger like that in in her mouth should i should i do a whole story about should i do a story time about the hospital let me know in the comments because i would love to oh. hey hey yeah okay let's see make an appointment for stassi which we already did but we don't know if that's something else that should be in the story time video Make an appointment for myself. I need to do that. I need to call Starbucks 888. Uh, I need to organize Stassi's stuff. I need to organize the closet. I need to clean the kitchen. I Anyone else just move their kid right by them whenever they move just because they're scared that yeah. And I need to tidy up the living room. So hopefully I can get it all done before Rob comes.
Alright, sick transition. Uh -huh. Well, was that what couldn't feed me? Okay. Bro, if you would see the things I did for this video, like, I can't even get up. Look at my ankle right now. Look at that. I'm trying to get off the floor. The things I'm doing to make this video is like absurd. And now I'm trying to get up with one hand. And I suck seated. Okay, let's go back to the show.